I'm a learning scientist. I, I look at the way that young children learn. Um, I focus on the relationship between how children interact with the world um, and how that changes the way they think. Um, and so part of that leads me to look at technology and, and ask the question, what happens when children's interaction with the world is changed? And so technology is evolving and we, we know that it used to be punch cards and then we moved to things like mouses and now we're on touch screens, but we're still going. And so it's trying to understand how these new forms of interaction change the way that children think and learn. We've used technology for a long, long time. Blocks or a book are technology. So what we're in a way we're talking about is digital technology. Um, but when we look back at things like books and, stuff and blocks, it's very often not what it is, but it's how it's used. So a little block could be used to throw at a greenhouse or it could be used to um, build a tower or could be used to learn about numbers. And it depends very much on how it's used and obviously the adult plays a big role. Yes, if you leave a child with a piece of digital technology and come back later, um, that's very, very different than sitting down with a child and talking and using the digital technology uh, as a sort of base to, to think and talk about different ideas. The younger children are, the greater the role of the adult. So would I use technology with a baby? Yes. Um, I, there are lots of musical things that we can sing together, lots of pictures we can work with. Um, are they great for a child that, that really uh, is, is trying to put things in their mouth and, and wants to really experience things with their hands? No, not really, um, because they're still pieces of plastic and, and there are many, many things that give children a lot better sensory experiences for their young age. Um, however, we're starting to move into an era where actually technology, um, you can put technology in objects. So. As always, we should always be careful about comparing technology with other things because technology is changing. The advice I would give parents um, is not to be afraid. And what I mean by that is what will benefit children ultimately is a better understanding of the world that they are growing up in. Um, be more confident because there will be some things that children um, can do easily, other things they don't understand. And I think that's, it's important to recognise one of the myths that children um, they look so natural and they can pick things up easily. They're very good at pressing buttons very quickly and just learning by seeing what happens. But that takes you a certain point. It, it, it needs more. It needs somebody to sit down and talk about it in exactly the same way as you would with a book. Be involved and, and, and don't think that children will just pick it up as they go along.